Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here hanging out, having a good time. And of course, come visit me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm always there too. And of course, welcome back to our oldies for goodies. So you guys, skin is ready i did my skincare i started using the tula sunscreen and it's so freaking good i did that like 30 minutes ago i'm doing a little graphic liner moment and let's prime the skin we're gonna use this elf gripping primer i like to get a good amount to put it all over the skin you want to let your primer just absorb into the skin for a little bit especially this type because it's a gripping the longer you let it sit the grippier it gets so i'll be back we're nice and sticky primed down this is how the foundation looks i bought mine on revolutions website it was pretty easy to order i got the package fairly soon so that's nice revolution is sold at ulta this is not on ulta's site or stores quite yet but i'm pretty sure it will get there because revolution has like a big section at ulta this shade doesn't look like my shade i just guessed you know how it is online so i kind of like this bottle it's pretty big how big is this oh it's not that big 0.7 so it's not even an ounce which is the typical foundation so let's see oh my goodness this is supposed to have a neutral undertone okay <gasps> oh what are we gonna do what are we gonna do we're gonna have to shear this out with the hand what kind of business is this no lie it's like gliding on the skin very nice it's full coverage the finger just really warms product up and i only bought one shade because i'm like oh it's a you know olive undertone or neutral undertone i forgot what undertone but girl we are looking oh not that bad i mean warm but wow that kind of glided nice though look at this before and after let's disregard the shade <laughs> but not bad wow this thing is smooth like it just glided but it provides full coverage i'm not used to that okay oh, dang do we have something here do we have something here <laughs> anyway let's go on this side i'm gonna apply it here and give you all the info about this product <laughs> new makeup revolution irl filter longwear foundation retails for 14 dollars. i am in the shade f 9.5 it comes in 30 shades this is a filter in a bottle this medium to full buildable foundation has a soft breathable matte formula rich with niacinamide oil free shine free crease free life proof and smudge proof while providing 16 hour wear i purchased mine on revolutionbeauty.com it's also available at beauty bay this is very yellow like straight yellow but the skin looks kind of bomb yellow and all look like i'm like tripping out it has this glow it has this full coverage dang not bad huh cool it's currently 7 13 what i usually do if you are new i let the foundation sit on the skin bare for about 10 to 20 minutes without putting powder or concealer just to see how it looks if it oxidizes or does anything so i'll be back i don't think it oxidizes quite it should okay so as i was waiting around been i don't know like 10 or 15 minutes i had to cut it short because my friend's on her way and i need to finish filming before she gets here i was looking too i'm probably the shade 10 because the undertone looks correct i don't know why i got 9.5 because it literally looks online like with what i got i was just thinking like online was wrong but anyway i kind of like the skin although it's like yellow straight up let's just turn this off right it looks super smooth it doesn't feel heavy and it's kind of dried down i'm getting like a natural matte finish okay cool put concealer help this out and i'm back i'm gonna set the skin with this huda beauty setting powder in the shade banana bread i'm gonna work it in with my powder puff making sure we lock this in all day since you know we have oily skin setting the skin it kind of becomes really matte really quick i don't know if you can see it it's not a bad thing but it is more on the matte side but the skin looks bomb though like where are the pores where is the texture nowhere oh not bad not too shabby so i'm just gonna finish up the face i'm gonna bronze a good amount because that'll help us a little bit so brb <laughs> All 
All right, fam, this shade, I like the skin though. It looks very nice. It looks as natural as you can look when you're working with a full coverage foundation. I do find that it's more medium, but it goes quickly to a full coverage because look, it just, it looks full, which is, you know, that's not the issue because I feel like we need that. The only thing I'm noticing, you can't see it, but because it's matte, it's like that dried matte. So you see the nose is a little dry around the mouth gets a little bit on the dry side. It will eventually warm up because we do have oily skin, but that's what I'm seeing right now. It's nice besides the shade, but that's user error because I did straight up order the wrong one. Pleasantly surprised because the skin looks really nice. What I'm gonna do is go in front of the window so you guys can see in daylight. Oh, maybe you can see a little more texture up in there. Not texture, but like the dry spots here. And yeah, see you later. Bye. Oh my God, in daylight, it looks so much better. You don't see the orange tone, how you saw it in studio lighting, you know? So okay, I feel better. But you see that dryness I was telling you about? Well, no, you can't really see it, but I swear daylight's a game changer. But I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Let me know, but yeah. Okay, bye. Guys, you guys, wow. It is eight o'clock. We've had the foundation on for about 12 hours. Before we get started, I do need to show you how the skin was looking at around five o'clock. It was looking really, really freaking good because I did a lot today. It was really, really hot in LA. I was sweating, literally. And this foundation was looking really good. It smoothed out the skin and it really blurred us at this point. And here we are now, 12 hours later, I completely redid my makeup area redid my apartment today. I was literally so hot, but we got it done. I'm so excited to show you. But you guys, the shade is off. Like it kind of goes in waves. Like in daylight, it looks good. That olive undertone really is working for us. But here you can see the clear difference, literally yellow. Besides that, look at the skin. It looks really good. You see my oils because I do have oily skin. But hold on, I put a little bit too much. Andy right now nothing's really breaking up you see a little bit my mouth is off but I told you guys it was really really hot I did have lunch so I was like wiping my mouth off but I'm very surprised very very pleasantly surprised how this skin looks like we legit don't look gastadas and I feel it I need to go shower go to bed right now at eight o'clock because girl it's been a day, but I just feel so accomplished and so good. The fact that my makeup area is just clean and done, it's like no other better feeling. So let's touch up really quick. I do notice that to this foundation, the longer we've had it on the skin, the more matte it became. So it's a very matte foundation. We have good coverage and it's full coverage matte. I don't think this would be really good for anyone that has dry skin. It's that matte that gives you that full coverage matte, but drying. Just want to do a quick check-in and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. I'm back day numero dos. We're ready to look yellow today. You know what I was thinking? Let's take a picture and see how, you know, bad it looks. The actual formula isn't bad. It's the shade, but you know, user error. The shaker up and let's go like this much. I'm going to get this brush today, especially because this is a fuller coverage, thicker textured foundation. We're going to create these thin lines. It kind of smells like paint or like nail polish. I didn't get that scent yesterday, but I could smell it today. And let's blend it out with this brush and let's really get it in everywhere. Well, like the neck and stuff. Okay. And so what I'm doing is just stippling it on, working the foundation in the skin. And it looks good. I kind of like the brush. Oh, yeah, I'm getting those dry spots right here on the chin like I did yesterday. Always avoid the under eye area. You know, you know. I feel like the skin looked better yesterday. It might have been because of the primer. Since we're not using primer today. But you kind of see that radiance through. As matte as it is, I don't think it dries down onto the skin. So you're able to move it and blend it out. Okay, so it's currently 7.12 in the a.m. We're gonna wait the 20 minutes because yesterday we didn't because I was in a rush. You guys know I was doing my whole cleanup, but yeah, we can't be back. Oh, so it's been about a little over 20 minutes and wow, it feels dry, like completely dry. Well, maybe we don't need a lot of powder, yeah. So I just wanna show you because yesterday, you know, we didn't wait as long, but you see how dried down it looks, but we have a bit of a radiance here. So, 
Okay, wow, wow, I'm a little surprised. I'm gonna get this She Glam powder in the shade Bisque and just set the T-zone just to see what we get, you know? So that's easy because just the T-zone, it's crazy how just dried down the skin is, huh? What is this? Did I not blend this? Sometimes that be happening. That's kind of the good thing when a foundation's not your shade. You see like spots. Look how smooth the skin looks. That's what I, I'm like tripping about. Let me just finish up the face, keep it super simple, BRB. No lie, the skin looks freaking good. Like so good. Let's take a photo with flash just to see because you know how we look really yellow in here in the studio lighting, but yesterday we did it in daylight. Okay, let's just take this picture. Hold on, let's see. Wow, the skin looks like skin, like my skin tone. You see that? Look, I'm like drooping out, okay. But I just wanna show you how everything looks. Today, things look a lot smoother. I just like to give you different options because I don't like to, you know, say anything negative when it may be my fault or a brush didn't work or whatever the case may be. But what's really tripping me out today because we applied it differently, it looks a little more natural. It doesn't look as matte and as full coverage as it did yesterday. We don't have primer, so that may be a game changer, you know? See you at the window? It looks so good and look at this radiance though. You guys know I don't ever use highlighter or anything. You see? Ooh, this lip color is good. I'll link it down below. It's NYX and L'Oreal. Wow, wow. A little more impressed today than yesterday. I think today's application is way better and it's giving us full coverage but lightweight at the same time, you know? Okay, Joe. I'm, I'm back. It is, oh, it is eight o'clock. We've had the foundation day two for 12 hours. But of course, before we get started, I do want to show you how the skin was looking at around five o'clock. I did notice oils were coming through a little bit and there was a little bit of separation. Overall, the skin was looking pretty good, especially because today was another hot day. And here we are now, look, because we didn't wear primer today, I do see like my nose is kind of gone and it's been gone for a while. My mouth a little bit like down here, you see like right here, just little spots here and there I can see. I'm more oilier today I feel than yesterday. And yesterday I was working really hard and sweating and today I sweated a little bit. Definitely a fuller coverage matte finish. If you like a full coverage matte that will last a long time, this is for you. I do think you need a primer to adhere to the skin because yesterday I feel like overall we had a better day. It looks good today, but I do see those little spots kind of disappearing at the 10 to 12 hour mark. It is telling us it's a full coverage. It's matte. What the product is, is what we get. And I appreciate that. It wasn't saying it's a natural, lightweight, any of that. I kind of knew going in and I I do like that it gives you that nice filtered look pretty much all day long you guys know i have big pores and a little bit of texture i've been looking yellow all day but you know it kind of does warm up and adjust to the skin so that's always a plus too so this is a yes if you do like a full coverage beat that will last and just make it look good all day you know i hope you enjoyed these two days hanging out and looking a little bit yellow but overall pretty good let me know your thoughts of makeup revolution they are on a roll with all the releases i'll keep the description box updated to see when it's going to be at Ulta because it's currently not. So yeah, I think this is it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!